सर ये सवाल आज मत पूछो कि कहाँ पे गलती हुई पूरे गेम ही गलत हो गया पचास ओवर में साढ़े चार सौ रन के आसपास बोल रहे आप पूछ रहे गलती कहाँ पे हुई डिफिकल्ट आंसर करना तो कुछ कैच कैचेस छूटे हैं बॉलिंग आप बोल सकते हैं कि स्टार्टिंग में हम शायद थोड़ा शॉर्ट बॉलिंग हमने की थोड़ा विथ दिया बैट्समैन को फिर भी अगर आप देखें तो बीस पच्चीस ओवर तक ना वो थोड़े कंट्रोल में थे और उसके बाद जब उन्होंने एक्सेलरेट करना चालू किया तो फिर 10-10, 12-12, 15-15 पंद्रह रन आ रहे थे 438, 440 रन यू नो इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टारगेट टू चेस 350 तक हमने किया हुआ है यू आर ऑप्टिमिस्ट कि यू नो साढ़े तीन भी होगा तो विल फाइट इट आउट बट उस लेवल के बाद जब 10-10 रन भी बढ़ते हैं ना इट पुट्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर सो राजकोट में मुझे याद है एक बार वी स्कोर्ट फोर श्रीलंका स्कोर्ट फोर एक रन से या दो रन से हम मैच हार जीत का फैसला हुआ था बट ओवरऑल अगर आप देखें तो वो ग्राउंड एकदम अलग था विकेट एकदम अलग था दोनों की जो बोलिंग अटैक था काफी सिमिलर था तो उस सिचुएशन में ऐसा हो सकता है बट ओवरऑल अगर आप देखें तो इस मैच में उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छी बैटिंग की एंड इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्कोर फोर थर्टी एट रन चेजिंग सो वी सेट वी वॉन्टेड टू गो फॉर इट एंड सेट लेट्स गो फॉर इट बट एट द सेम टाइम थोड़ा अपने आपको टाइम भी दें ऐसा नहीं कि पहली ही बॉल से घुमाए बिकॉज यू नो पार्टनरशिप चाहिए होती है इतने रन बनाने के लिए एंड द ओनली वे यू कैन स्कोर ओवर फोर हंड्रेड रन इज बाई बैटिंग फुल फिफ्टी ओवर सो दैट वॉज द प्लान समटाइम्स इट वर्क समाइम इट डजेंट वर्क बट यू नो चेजिंग फोर थर्टी एट इट हैड बी वी हैड टू बी वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्ट आई डोंट थिंक यू नो इफ यू इफ यू सी द विकेट इट वॉज ट्रू बैटिंग विकेट इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड बैटिंग विकेट and there was no turn on offer for the spinners our fast bowlers you know yes they can swing the ball but you know when it's flat they are not the ones who can actually push the batsman on to the back foot even if we have bowlers who bowl quick they don't get the same amount of bounce from the same areas you know we don't hit the deck as hard so you know our strength is entirely different and if you see this wicket i felt you know all our bowlers as a unit you very rarely see everybody going for runs your fast bowler has gone for run your spinners have gone for run so there was no not really much on offer for our spinners or our fast bowler so that was the reason once the partnership happened you know and once they looked to accelerate it was very difficult for us to you know in fact uh, try to stop boundaries you know they're playing the big shots uh almost all the strategies were used you know uh, from the fast bowlers from right outside of yorkers to cramping the batsman to using the short pitch deliveries the same was with the spinners you know you you tried cramping them up bowling wide but there are days when it doesn't work and also you know when when the wicket is so true and if you have that kind of a partnership it becomes very difficult to stop the opposition i think first and foremost you know as a leader what you have to realize is what are the things that are going wrong because till you don't know the problems it's very difficult to find the solution you know you can't really just motivate the team and say okay you know let's pick ourselves up let's turn up on the field and it will happen you know because when it comes to the motivation aspect you know if you are representing india or your country any other country you are not short of motivation but what's important is to realize in the team you know what are the things that are not working you know it may be a bowling department it may be your batting department it may be the middle overs uh, partnership so if you break cricket into small small things you know it does help you and you know it actually makes the job a lot easier to address the problem so you know when it comes to me i try to address the problem more than anything else you know we have been struggling with a seeming all rounder uh, but at the same time you know we have struggled even when you know the conditions when they are slightly in favor of us we have struggled we feel our lower order batting is uh, slightly on the lighter side when it comes to playing against good fast bowlers you know and that actually puts a lot of pressure on the top six bats when if you lose maybe one or two early wickets then you have three or four batsmen to play with because you can't really rely too much on your lower order so you know we have to find ways to see you know what is the best bowling composition for us but at the same time not at the cost of you know being too light when it comes to batting so we have to address these problem the the good thing is we have time in our hand but at the same time you know we'll have to find individuals who can fit into that that slot and you know they have to start doing well for us so there are a few areas of concern and until you know the areas of concern you can always bounce back because you're looking for solutions and it's not something that straight away you know you may come up with a solution you'll have to find individuals who will come they'll handle the pressure of international cricket and once they are successful 
you know, the job will become slightly easier. Well, it's a difficult one because uh, if you would have pinpoint the reason, you know, we would have uh, got the solution by now. Uh, if you see any other nation, uh, test or ODI uh, playing nation, you know, the fast bowlers, they come and in one or two years, you know, they graduate to the next level and they become their strike bowler or they know their strength and they bowl according to what their strength is. To some extent, we have not been able to do that. And also, you know, once you put in a lot of time and effort in a particular individual and if it doesn't come up good, then again, a vacuum gets created where you have to look for the individuals. You know, we tried going for fast bowlers, people who can bowl quick, but, you know, we realized they are actually giving us, you know, giving the opposition more runs. And we were better off playing with people who are more into their line and length. So you have to, you know, see what really is the best solution. As of now, uh, ideally, if you see Mohit should be your third seamer. But, you know, you have to miss, uh, mix and match as to who is your good death bowler, who can bowl in the middle overs, who is your, you know, a very good new ball bowler. So uh, we have to go through a few things, uh, as I said. And, you know, the exact reasons, uh, it's very difficult to... Uh, just speculate as to what are the reasons but definitely what we have seen is we have tried a lot of fast bowlers a lot of different fast bowlers who have not done really well for us but at the same time whenever they go back and play in the different formats you know they are the ones uh, who have done well for their IPL franchises or when they play you know the lip trophy or the other trophy so uh, it's a transition you know at times it takes time uh, because the the top first class bowlers and the the international cricket, I still feel there's a bit of difference. Well, if you look at the longer picture, you know, we have to do all these things. I know, you know, when it comes to Indian cricket, not a lot of people are open to that idea. But, you know, if you only look into a particular series, you know, in the longer run, you know, it will definitely harm us more because you have to look at the Champions Trophy that's coming and then the World Cup, where it will be played. As I say, you know, you can't always play with three spinners, but at the same time, you have to sort out your batting order. You want to have strength in your batting, especially the middle or the lower middle order batting. At the same time, have bowlers who can get you wickets at any point of time in the game, you know, maybe from the 20th to the 30th or any other time. So we have to look at the longer picture because if you don't get solution, you know, maybe you'll win a few series here and there. But to be consistent, you have to have a settled team. And to a lot of extent, if you see, you know, our team, doesn't look to be that settled you know we have to look at the venue you have to look at what kind of wicket is provided accordingly you have to make change we have made a few changes in the batting order to see what gives more strength to our batting order what looks like a very good composition when we are chasing so all of these things you know uh, you have to study i know india is more about result but at the same time you know you won't always get result if you're not looking into the process so it's a tough situation but at the same time you know as i say we are looking for solution and we have to try a few other things because if you're if you're doing the same thing, you'll get the same result. And you know we'll keep talking about we don't have a seeming all rounder. We have tried Stewie. You know uh, people have criticized that also. But to a lot of extent, if you see who are your best, if if you talk about all rounders in India, who is your best seeming all rounder? It's Stu Edwini. Two best spinning all rounder: Ravinder Jadeja and Akshar Patel. So whether you like it or you don't like it, these are the best seeming and spinning all rounders that we have got. So. We have to make the most out of them. <laughs>